Question 23. Look at the right angled triangle A, B, C. Ooh, well, as soon as it says it's right angled, I know that I can just look and see that one there. That's a right angle. A square fits exactly inside the triangle. So, other things that we know. That's got to be a right angle. That's a right angle. And that's a right angle. Because it's a square, and they are always right angles. Work out the sizes of angles X, Y, and Z. Now, X is probably the easiest one out of all of them to do. Because if we look at it, it's on a straight line. Well, a straight line is 180 degrees. So let's have a look at what X is. So we have 180 degrees, and the only other angle on there is this right angle, which is 90 degrees. So if we take away that 90 degrees, what we're left with is X, and that must mean that X is also 90 degrees. Now for the next one, we've got this triangle on the right-hand side, and that contains Y. Now that we've got X, we can see that we've got 90 and 70 as two of the missing angles, and the triangle always adds up to 180 as well. So if we have 180 degrees, and we're going to take away the 90 degrees for X, and take away the 70 that we are told in the diagram, what we're left with is 20 degrees. So therefore, Y is 20 degrees. Now I know just from looking at this that Z must also be the same thing. But let's just prove that Z is also 20 degrees. Z here is on a straight line. So that adds up to 180 degrees automatically. We have a right angle in the middle, so that's 90 degrees. And 70 degrees is also part of this straight line. So if we take away those two angles, what we're left with must be 20 degrees. Make sure to write your answers in the answer section provided. So that's 90, 20, and 20. You get one mark for each answer.